sometimes people ask me, Nikki, you already have such gorgeous, full lip filler lips. Why do you feel the need to like overline your lips with lip pencil even though you already have like such big lips? You know what I tell them? Because I can. Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Good to manga. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if I'm ready for today. So about 10 months ago, I introduced you to my fear for the color green, which is currently surrounding me and it's freaking me out. I just can't imagine how much awesomer the world would have been without green. <laughs> That's a joke. And on March 6th, ColourPop tweeted the following. Did anyone ask for a green palette? <laughs> No, ColourPop, nobody did. So on March 6th, ColourPop was like, okay, we're coming out with a green palette and literally everyone on Twitter was like, Nikki Tutorials. <laughs> 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 and here we are today. I have the palette. <laughs> right here, I have the ColourPop Just My Luck. Sounds very fitting to today's theme. Um, I should have palette and the inside looks very Green. This all green palette is my challenge for the day. I wanted to create the green makeup challenge 2.0 or just playing with the Just My Look palette and seeing how it goes as a green hater and seeing how, how this look will turn out. So if you're excited about me facing my green fears again, then keep on watching. I'm ready. Okay, so this portion of the video, I'm actually super excited about because I get to try a couple of new products, but also I don't have to focus on green yet. So that is just a win situation in and of itself. The first product I wanna be starting off with is this right here. Now, if you're not following Alyssa Ashley here on well, at least YouTube and Instagram, we can no longer speak to each other. <laughs> Her skin is a godsend. And she recently on Instagram stories mentioned the Ren Perfect Canvas Silicone Free Skin Finishing Serum Primer. I literally went to my car, drove for 35 minutes to find the nearest store that carried Ren, and I got myself one. So today I'm finally trying it out. I can't wait to see how this works on my face, on my skin, but I'm damn excited. Oh my God, that smell. Oh, so it doesn't smell like puppies, but it gives me, when I think of happy thoughts, I think of puppies. And a day where I meet puppies, this sort of smells like that day. It's like this euphoric, amazing, like this is gonna be a great day smell. Oh my God, puppies. I am ready for foundation. Actually, no, before foundation, I really wanna try this, the Dragon Beauty. This is the Dragon Fire Skin Perfecting Potion. This is a color corrector, and I'm always so fascinated when I see Nikita use her, uh, her orange. So I kinda wanna play a little bit under my eyes for shits and giggles. And now I'm super, super fair. So I wanna be cautious with this because if I apply too much of this, I have to color correct the warmth of this color corrector. Then I'm taking a tiny brush and I'm just gonna stipple this into place to fight the blue tones under my eyes. <sighs> okay, so all preparation is done. Now it is time for foundation. And today I'm going in with the Ordinary Serum Foundation and I'm in the color 1.1N. Okay, so I'm just gonna slightly go over my eye already and ooh, that is looking good so far. I like how with Nikita's color corrector, I didn't need any powder. Usually what a lot of people do is they color correct and then they go straight in with foundation. And that is, it isn't necessarily wrong, but if you wanna color correct, you wanna make sure that it is set and it doesn't go anywhere because as soon as you go in with like your foundation on top, it's just gonna smear around and just not really do much. So one vital step is to set your color correction with the slightest feather of powder. But I love that with Nikita's color corrector, it sets immediately and you don't need powder. Clearly, I decided to put my forehead in full display today. 
You know, I've got a 10 head, I might as well own it. For concealer today, I'm using my tried and true, is that what people say? I always, I always like copy what I hear from videos that I feel like Jaclyn Hill says this a lot. Tried and true? <laughs> I'm using my Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer in Chiffon. Okay, now you're going to want to set your face with powder, and I'm still obsessed with the Fenty Pro Filter Setting Powder in Butter. The time has come that I have to take a little time to myself. I'm just gonna step away for a little bit, do my brows, and do one eye off camera, and face my fears, and play with green. And then I'll be right back to show you how to do it, I guess. I'll be right back. Okay, time to Optimus Prime. The first product I'm going in with is P. Louise, the base, and I'm using the color 0.5. I picked that up on a dry beauty blender and I tapped that on top of the lid and crease. Then from the ColourPop palette, I'm taking the color Act Natural, and this is gonna be stamped into the crease. I pick it up in a very tiny pointed blender brush and I start stamping in the color and the shape. You don't have to focus about blending or whatsoever anytime soon. Just get that shape and get the color on. And I definitely wanna go for that winged out shape today. So right at the edge, drag that out and up. Okay, once you've got the shape, you've got the color, it's time to sort of buff out the edges a bit. So I'm going straight up against that harsh line and I start applying soft, tiny little circular motions. This is just gonna feather out that harsh edge the slightest bit and that is all we need. Alrighty, so now it is time to focus on the blending. I'm going into Chances Are and picking that up on a Morphe M562 brush and I'm placing the brush flat against my eye and sort of scratching the edge and applying that color to fade everything out. Now the weird thing that took me by surprise is once I start doing this, it starts taking a more blue turn, which I crazy, like a teal blue color. And I crazily enough, don't mind it because it just kind of leaps away from the green a little bit. Like it kind of takes me away from it. Um, but I love this color happening right here. So I'm just gonna focus on blending a bit more. Now, after working so hard on your blending, what tends to happen is that your first color is completely washed out. So you wanna go back in with it and really carefully reapply it. All right, time to cut the lid. Okay, to set the inner third of the cut crease lid, I'm taking a shimmering white, which is not in the palette, but I think it's necessary for this look. So I'm just grabbing one by Juvia's Place. Then it is finally showtime for Mary Jane. She's going on the center of the lid. And on the outer corner, Big Banks. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. You know what this is starting to remind me of? Have you seen Captain Marvel? And did you see her suit in the beginning of the movie as a Kree? This is like Captain Marvel Kree version. Next up, I'm using the LA Splash Liquid Liner in Patronus to cut my crease in a fine white line. Okay, and then when you really are a neat freak like I am, you can go in with a tiny, tiny little brush and the shadows that we used and kind of sharpen up that white line to perfection. Now, not necessary, but if you're a neat freak like I am, you better do this before you look at it all day and you start questioning life. All right, this is where we are at right now. Like I said, very Captain Marvel Cree, very, very Marvel. So now I am going to include the lower lash line by just applying that dark teal green color right here.
And then I take that stunning Mary Jane color and continuing using that. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. And applying that shimmering white on the inner corner as well. Ooh, yes. Now, because I am so goddamn extra all the time and I never know when to stop, I thought this needed more. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is place little dots of glue above the white cut crease line and I'm adding diamonds. Cause diamonds are what? Oh, look at that. Oh, so extra. I live and look, watch, watch. I'm gonna go out of focus. The bling of it all. Yes, honey. Okay, time to seal the deal with these lashes. These are Doll Beauty Hannah Elizabeth. Oh my God, you guys. I don't know how it happened, but I am totally obsessing over this look. Even though it is green, it has a hint of teal green and like that true green on the lid and just like, I don't know why, but I am living. I feel like I'm the love child of Katniss Everdeen and Captain Marvel. Remember Katniss and then Captain Marvel and then it's me. So to complete this look, I first wanna go in with this by Dragon Beauty. This is the Dragon Heart Transformation Face Powder. I've been really, really liking this. It is so brightening. Even on my see-through skin tone, this really brightens. And I would like to sort of brighten up under the eye a tiny bit and I just mix the two on a sponge. This is like Photoshop. I just target the darkest part of my under eye that somehow still peeked through a little bit and I just tap it on there and it makes it look wide awake. Look at that, so brightening. Oh. Time to give this face a little bit more warmth. So I'm going in, first time trying this, this is a brand new Morphe bronzer. It is called Glamour Bronze and I am in the color Icon. So let's see how it goes. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to thank you for your amazing feedback on what I said in my uh, playing a fake Nick tutorials game video on how I addressed wanting to introduce like a symbol system with like if my makeup was sent in PR, if I bought it myself, if it is affiliated or sponsored. And I want you to know that I am working on the symbols with a graphic design team and it's coming. It's coming, promise. In the meantime, this was PR. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, okay, so it's a tiny bit more orange. Okay, it's a lot more orange now that I'm really buffing it in than what I usually apply. But since I'm looking a little, a little just saturated, I don't mind it. Now I am very cautious not to apply too much. So I'm wondering what is a color that you are like totally not a fan of, it kind of intimidates you. And it could be a color in life, like in general, but also a color in makeup. I think one of the hardest colors to blend with makeup are green, blue, and black. Oh my God, black eyeshadow, are you kidding me? It is a challenge. So I think those three colors are like my biggest nightmare when it comes to makeup. But somehow when you really like really sit for it, like really go ahead and sit and try it out and give it a good go, something fun happens apparently. For blush, I'm just using like a, a little flush of a more natural toned blush. For highlight, I am back to using my Catrice Baked Highlighter in the color Light Infusion. Okay, now I feel like I'm definitely the love child of Katniss Everdeen in Captain Marvel. This right here is literally Captain Marvel when she finds her true powers, and this right here is Katniss Everdeen when she's being the girl on fire. <laughs> Okay, time to finalize this very green look. Now, what I did in my first green makeup challenge was do dark green lips. So I feel like we've we've done that. Time to move on. People are like, she's gonna say it. Don't say it, don't say it. Me, a new glossy lip. <laughs> I mean, but like literally, it is the mood for this look. It like, yes, you can leave 
your opinion in the comments down below. You know, sometimes people ask me, Nikki, you already have such gorgeous, full lip filler lips. Why do you feel the need to like overline your lips with lip pencil even though you already have like such big lips? You know what I tell them? Because I can. Okay, for lipstick, we're bringing back an oldie but a goodie. This is in its old packaging, but this is a liquid lipstick that I created, I came up with, with Ofra Cosmetics. It is called Nude Potion, and it is such, such a good, good nude, and I feel like it would go perfectly with this look, so here she is. And then let's Pop it with a gloss. Oh, this is, oh, this is a lip, honey. This is, by the way, Jordana Tisha lip gloss in Dare to Bear. And then last, but never least, setting spray. And there we have it, guys. That is my complete look using the Just My Luck ColourPop eyeshadow palette that recently came out. And I'm gonna say it, you're not gonna believe what you're about to hear, but I love this look. I think this is one of the most fun looks I have done in a while. And I am even gonna go as far as saying that I don't hate green as much after today's video as when I did yesterday or the day before that or just my entire life. And can I get a special round of applause for ColourPop shadows? Now, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I don't really gravitate towards ColourPop shadows. And after playing with this, I don't know why. Because this was so easy to work with. There was barely any fallout. There was amazing pigmentation. And overall, this was such an incredible palette that I'm kind of interested to see more. Why have I been sleeping on ColourPop shadows? I think today is the perfect day to also introduce a brand new Dutch word to you. So let's go to the Dutch word of the day. The Dutch word of the day is for the little diamonds in my crease. So the Dutch word of the day is for diamond. This one is pretty easy. Diamant. Diamant. Diamant! <clears throat> Diamant! <laughs> all right guys, so if you wanna see your face pop up in my next video, then all you have to do is comment the Dutch word of the day down below in the comments or leave a video response on Instagram under the hashtag Dutch word of the day. And who knows, we might see you pop up in the next one. Guys, I had so much fun. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you for watching. I love you so much. And hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.